Welcome to Feature Friday. This is the series where we like to show you some of the coolest features inside of Ecamm Live. I am your community manager, Doc Rock, and today we're going to talk to you about a very little known feature inside of Ecamm that you might be able to use if you find yourself having weird things happening with your internet while you're streaming and you want to get an idea of what's going on, you can use this. Now, I have this window open always. Whenever I'm streaming, I leave it open because I'm looking to make sure that my connection is solid and make sure that I can sort of see if there's any weirdness or bumps because there are some things that you can do to mitigate issues by slowing certain things down in your stream for a second, giving it a chance to catch up. You wanna know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about the bandwidth statistics window. I'm gonna pop into demo mode real quick to show you where it is. Now, I'm not live for this particular recording, so the window's gonna look a little odd, but I have made a clip of something I recently recorded during a live stream, streaming in 4K with two other guests, I made a capture of the bandwidth statistics window so that I can show you that. So I'll be bringing that in and out so that you can see how it looks when it is actually working in real time. Let's take a look at the Ecamm interface and I'll show you where to find bandwidth statistics. Pop into demo mode. As you can see here, I have my window here, but I'll close it for a second. You come over to window and in the bottom section, the very first one is bandwidth and statistics. This window will pop up. Now, again, if we look at it here, it's not gonna show you much because it's closed. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the clip that I made earlier and walk you through some of the things inside of bandwidth and statistics. As you can see here in this bandwidth statistics window, this again is a screen capture I captured earlier from a show that I was sending to YouTube in 4K with two guests you'll see on the left side, the rolling required bandwidth, the rolling average throughput, the momentary actual bandwidth, and the momentary required bandwidth. Let me break this down. The rolling required bandwidth is saying that basically YouTube, the server I might say sometimes, is asking for roughly three and a half megabits per second, not to be confused with megabytes. Small b, bits, big b, bytes. The rolling average throughput is what Ecamm was able to send via my internet connection to the YouTube server that I was live streaming on. This is controlled by your internet, not necessarily by Ecamm, but it's good information to know. So today I was having a good day. My internet was able to keep up with what YouTube was requesting. The reason why I say this is what Ecamm was throwing because Ecamm will try to mitigate whatever the server is asking for. Ecamm will make adjustments on the fly and try to send that correctly for you. That's one thing that we do that's a little bit special. The momentary actual bandwidth is what my internet was actually sending to YouTube. So I had a little headroom. I had a little bit more than was necessarily required. The momentary required bandwidth was again, what YouTube was making adjustments on the fly and asking for. And the reason why you saw a spike there, if you watch it, you'll see spikes from time to time. I may have been changing scenes, playing a movie, doing something with a lot of motion. Those are the things that will cause it to spike momentarily. So if you see your chart doing something that looked like you're going into AFib, you're probably doing a lot on your stream, causing that to spike. Now on the right side here, you'll see the average required, which in my case was a little about say three and a quarter, and the average throughput was matching. That was saying that with adjustments on the fly, Ecamm and my current internet connection today was able to send exactly what YouTube was asking for. And so you don't see too much difference in the target rate because it didn't have to recalculate much. If there were, you'll see sort of what is the delta would sort of show up down there. You'll be able to see how much you were dropping, if you were dropping frames or losing out or something of that nature. 
you can see in this bandwidth statistics, there's some good info. It may seem complicated at first, but again, I'll reiterate, you're basically looking at what the server is requiring or asking for, be it YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, LinkedIn, whatever, and what Ecamm and your internet connection is able to send. Again, one of the neat features about Ecamm, it will make necessary adjustments on the fly to the best of its ability. But a lot of times, if you look down at this and you'll notice a jump and spike, you might be doing too much at that time. So one thing that you can do, as I mentioned in the intro, to mitigate your situation is maybe come down to a simple scene like this, maybe remove any unnecessary overlays or spiraling animations or things that aren't needed. So as a backup in your scene, have a couple of plain vanilla scenes laying around that if you happen to have a bandwidth day where the bandwidth is just not behaving properly, maybe you can go down to a vanilla version of scenes that will make things a heck of a lot easier. That, my friends, is another Feature Friday video in the can. Once again, I am your community manager, Doc Rock, and I hope you have been able to get a better handle on bandwidth and statistics. Understanding that window can definitely make your streams a heck of a lot better. Now, if there is a Feature Friday request, something you'd like to see us do, make sure you drop that in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get that pushed out for you as soon as possible. Again, we want your Ecamm experience to be the absolute bomb. If you enjoyed this video, press the like button, press the subscribe button, and ring the bell so you'll be notified whenever we make another Feature Friday video, have a cool live Q&A session, or another wonderful masterclass. Right now, there's going to be two more videos that pop up on screen. Do us a favor and watch the video that comes up next.